Elite Facts presents What would happen if the Earth was hollow? 8. Let's start off by mentioning the most obvious thing that would happen if the Earth was completely hollow. The Earth would likely collapse into itself. Since the Earth's shell is completely unstable, it wouldn't take long for the laws of gravity to take their toll. Soon enough, the world would eventually buckle under its own weight and completely collapse on itself. 7. Now, let's just say the Earth didn't implode on itself. What would that mean for all living things? What would happen to us if the Earth didn't implode but was still hollow? Just because the Earth is hollow doesn't mean gravity would suddenly be gone. Gravity would still be a factor, but because the Earth wouldn't have as much mass as it currently does, it wouldn't be enough to keep us on the ground. What we mean is, we would most likely float around. But what would happen to us if the Earth did in fact collapse on itself? 6. Well, we think the answer to that would be simple. If the Earth collapsed on itself, we would all most likely die. I mean, do you really think we could survive such devastation? Unless you're in an extremely well-made metal bunker, you've got no chance of survival. Think about it, aside from all the devastation caused by the world collapsing, you would also have power plants exploding and all sorts of chaos that would start racking up the death toll numbers. Sure, you might get a few people who are lucky enough to float away from the devastation due to the previously mentioned gravity issue, but eventually all things would cease to exist as there would be no resources to sustain life. Five. Now, going back to if the world didn't implode on itself, what would it mean for the core of the Earth? Because the Earth is hollow, there would be no gravity inside of the Earth. If you lived inside of the hollow Earth, the gravity would basically be zero. But would you really want to live inside of a place that could potentially collapse on itself? The Earth's crust makes up less than 1% of its mass, which is why there would be zero gravity inside the Earth. Four. Despite what we might have said about the Earth collapsing on itself and the fact that there would be zero gravity inside the hollow Earth, if the Earth were to collapse in on itself, it would essentially collapse into the form of a much smaller sphere rather than the debris just floating off into space. Three. Now, if you're unfortunate enough to fall through the Earth's crust, don't worry too much, you could easily make it to the other side. Just find an exit as soon as you possibly can. We know that sounds like a really difficult task, but hey, with a hollow Earth where there's no gravity inside, at least there's no risk of getting hurt or being buried alive if you fall through the Earth's crust. Two. Let's say that you do manage to fall through the Earth. If you wanted to, you could actually float towards the center of the Earth. But by doing this, you would eventually slow down drastically as you got closer to the center. The reason for this is because there would be equal amounts of gravity surrounding you thanks to the Earth's crust, which would prevent you from moving faster. One. If this was to happen, how long would it take for you to get from one side of the Earth's crust to the other? Well, it's estimated that it would take you roughly 42 minutes to fall from one side of the Earth's crust through the center of the Earth to the other side of the Earth. We imagine this would make for a great carnival attraction. Tell us in the comments section below what other odd and strange what-if scenarios you'd like us to tackle. Your comment could be featured at the start of our next video. Make sure to subscribe for more content and tap the bell button to be notified of our latest uploads. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.